Good morning, Piscators. I'm at it again. I've actually uh, fished all night, but I didn't put the camera on because I didn't get here till really late. I, uh, I was intending to fish in another venue yesterday, and I went and had a look at it. And it looked not great. <coughs> Uh, it looked very clear and they put blue dye in the water and it just looked neglected and dead so I didn't bother fishing there. So I went to another venue and that didn't look great either and uh, anyway I had a good walk around and settled on a spot and then a guy who was fishing nearby came for a chat and he'd been there and uh, 36 hours and not, had a, not even had a liner. Uh, so I kind of half got set up and spotted out a bit of feed and on hearing that news plus the fact that he'd fished there five times recently and blanked every single time um, I decided to quickly pack up and then lead footed it over here so I got here at about, it's about quarter to nine I think when I actually put my gear down in the swim uh, Mixed results last night, really. A bream fest, essentially. I, I caught about seven, um, probably in about three hours. Uh, and he had one tench. That was late, a little bit later on. It was about half one in the morning. Actually, I think it was one o'clock on the dot. Anyway, I didn't really bother fishing after that, I don't think. I think I pulled my rods in and went to sleep. And then this morning, I haven't, I didn't feed any more this morning. I just thought I'd wait and see, really. Um, I caught one bream and had a few liners, and it's been pretty, pretty slow. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm sort of going to move position of where I was fishing. I was fishing kind of straight out in the little. There's some lilies here and an overhanging tree there. I was kind of fishing right in the middle of it last night. Uh, what I'm going to do now is fish down into the lilies. There's kind of a little sorcery bit that's clear. And I can chuck a rod straight in there. Not very far out. And then another one I'm just going to put slightly to the left. And uh, basically I'm just going to pile a load of bait in now and see what happens. It might well just be a load more bream um, or fishing close to the lilies might be a bit more preferable as far as the tench are concerned. We'll see, I mean, if it means catching bream and the odd, maybe the odd tench then uh, so be it. I've kind of mixed up most of the bait, <laughs> most of the bait I've got. I did, I did fed, fed a lot last night actually, um, well, that wasn't that much because I've already used a load of my spod mix at the other venue. So I've, I've probably put in about pints and a half of particles last night and then maybe six balls of ground bait. Uh, I've just kind of knocked up some ground bait with some pellets, particles and a bit of corn in there. And I'm about to splosh that all in and then kind of see what happens. If it's quiet then I'll just pack up and go in. <coughs> right. oh, by the way I'm on Busbridge Lake, I forgot to say. I like it here, it's alright. I don't tend to blank or anything like that. So I don't like fishing venues where there is potential for blank. It's It does nothing for me whatsoever. Nothing at all. I'd rather come somewhere and catch some fish and be able to fine tune what I'm doing according to what the fish are saying rather than uh, hoping that a fish in a low stock water is going to stumble across my bait. I mean, I just can't see the point in that personally. Right, let's chuck some bait out. It's got a nice load of fairly stodgy green pellet ground bait. 
So I'm just going to whack it all in. That'll do. Keep a little bit for my feeder. I'll put the rods out. I've got one fishing on a a little uh, inline lead, ounce and a half. That's got a little boily on it at the moment. The other one, at the moment, I've got a little wafter pellet on there. I was fishing worm for a bit last night. But... The bites I was getting weren't particularly positive. And the worms were getting pinched off the hook and stuff, so... Oh, so there you go, shit or bust, why not? There's loads of fish in there, you know, you could tell last night that the swim was absolutely rammed. Uh, despite them being bream, they must have mopped up all the feed I put in. So, we'll wait and see. I was really quite surprised, you know, um, that there were that many bream active and, and not so many tench. We'll see what happens. If I start catching tench, and then I'm, I've got, funnily enough, a float in my kit. Uh, it's obviously escaped from somewhere. So if I do start catching tench, I might, I might just fish for them on the float, just with a little rod. A bit, a bit more uh, stimulating. I'd give it uh, half an hour. I reckon I'm going to start getting a few liners and stuff here. Fish, on the whole, seem to respond pretty quick to feed here. That went off like a tench. There's another bream. There we go. One thing that can be said for the bream in here is they're quite... Uh, clean and nice looking fish. Not like some of the specimens you come across. Convinced that was the tench, they that tore off and ploughed into the lilies. Right. Let's get back out there, see if we can actually catch what I'm after. That did take about half an hour. There we go. This one ain't the bream. Little divas sometimes, tench. There we go. 
little male, three pound or so. They've been males actually, the ones I've caught. Yeah. A nice little fella. Hopefully we'll catch a few more. I'm on uh, sweet corn. I think I don't use all that often actually. Worm guy. I might just stick a worm on. Actually. It all depends on how many little roach and that are out there. Well, it's gone very quiet. Nice and sunny, but very quiet on the fish front. Nothing really on the float. So I think I'm going to pack up. Uh, I've got a barbecue to cook this afternoon or that evening, so uh, I should probably get my act together and go home really. It's quite nice sitting here. So, yeah, probably the shortest video I've ever done. Just a couple of fish. I'm trying to think what I actually caught in the end, bream wise. Oh, must have had about nine, nine bream and two tench. I'd rather had nine tench and two bream. There you go. It's better than uh, staying where I was going to fish and catching nothing. Yep, I'm going to pack up. I'll see you later.